Good people and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into an intriguing African novel titled Fathers of Nations by Paul D. Vita. This book explores Africa's political and economic challenges through a satirical lens, following the journey of four retired African leaders who come together with hopes of reuniting the continent. The plot centers around a summit organized by an international body called the World Assembly. This summit proposes a grand idea called Way Omega, a plan to address the issues that have plagued Africa for decades. These include corruption, poverty, and weak leadership. Each of the four protagonists represent a different African country, each with its own unique set of issues and approaches to leadership. Let's meet our main characters. Pastor Chiamaka from Nigeria is a passionate activist and religious figure, hoping to use his influence to push for change. Professor Kimani from Kenya is a former academic who is skeptical of government corruption. Comrade Milusi from Zimbabwe represents the fight against dictatorship. Engineer Tahir from Libya embodies the struggle between tradition and modernization. These leaders all believe they have the answers, yet each of them has their own flaws and biases, creating a complex dynamic of personalities and political viewpoints. Through these characters, Paul B. Vitter examines themes like corruption, poverty, the tension between ideologies, and the impact of personal biases on leadership, call that poor leadership. The conversations and flashbacks reveal the obstacles each country faces ranging from military dictatorship to economic mismanagement. Vitter's humor and irony shine through as he shows how these leaders are caught between wanting change and being part of the system that resists it. As the story unfolds, it becomes clear that unity is much harder to achieve than anyone anticipated. Each leader's personal agenda and national pride get in the way of their cooperation, highlighting the difficulties of enacting real change on a continental scale. The novel leaves us with an open-ended question. Can Africa's leaders ever truly come together for the common good? Let me know in your comments. Can Africa's leaders ever truly come together for the common good? I'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section. So, Fathers of Nation, as we have read through it with such a summary, is a satirical but powerful commentary on African governance. It's a call for unity, transparency, and a new approach to leadership. If you're interested in African politics or enjoy thought provoking satire, this book is definitely more. I read. If you enjoyed this video, I am so sure you will also like this video and I will see you there.